Um, hello. Um, I'm gonna do this look. I'm gonna check my Instagram quick because I put up a polls, multiple polls to see how I should do this because I don't really know. Um, Doug, you can't be up here. I'm sorry. Doug, this is literally gonna be a disaster. Doug, don't. Oh my god, Doug. You wanna sit in my lap? You can sit in my lap, maybe. Okay. Are you gonna sit here or are you gonna go down? Doug, leave Really? Oh, I know. I don't. I gotta do this. I've been putting it off all day. Um, so I posted a look to my Instagram and I liked it and I was like, hey, maybe I'll do a tutorial. Two, two people, two, three, less than a handful of people were like, yeah, I'd like to see that. So, um, that's what I'm doing today, hopefully. Um, hopefully Doug doesn't climb up on my table and knock over all my things. Um, and I also put up polls to see what kind of video you want. Everyone said full face. And I'll be real with you guys, like three people actually voted in the poll. So, um, two people voted for an in-depth, like I'm talking you through it. And one person voted for like a TikTok reel sort of thing. Fireworks are going off. Um... I don't know how to do a TikTok. I want to get into it. Um, so depending on if I remember when I get that far into the eye tutorial, I might um, try and uh, put something that I can clip out of this video and like make a TikTok or something. I don't know. I want. I just don't feel like I have the the brain power to learn a whole new form of content. I want to, but I don't know if it's going to be today. Um, Sir, you are gonna have to. He is gonna have to go down. Do you wanna see him first, though? Doug! Look at the camera! Look at the camera, Doug! Hmm. He wants to be on my makeup and get it all full of hairs. Sorry, buddy. Okay. I am going to start now because we've already wasted a whole bunch of time. Um, this is probably. This is probably basically going to turn into a get ready with me because every time I do a full face it does. But I'm going to start with my um, brows. I'm using the NYX thing and I'm going to brush them down first. I feel like I figured out that this is my... I get the best results like this. So I'm going to brush it down like the opposite way I would use it usually brush my brows um, I'll dip in again I hate to say it but I really like this brow gel wish it wasn't like eleven dollars or whatever the fuck it is too expensive Now I'm going to let that sort of sit there for a minute and I'm going to prime my face. So I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I also have the e.l.f. Mint Melt Primer because I finally used up my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Whew. Um, yeah, I, the only thing <laughs> that is keeping this from being get ready with me is I really don't know if I have anything to talk about. I haven't done anything all day, which I really didn't want to, you know? I was like, you know, I don't want to, don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to leave my house. And I didn't. And it was pretty nice. But then I kind of feel like a bad person because people are like, oh, you should do stuff with me, or you should do stuff, and I don't want to. I, wanna... I just want to be alone in my house. This um, mint melt primer is like so grippy. I just dripped some on my carpet, my rug. Um, but it's so grippy, it's grippier than the hydro grip. And I don't know if like 
they have the power grip primer now because this was like a limited edition one for their like mint ice cream collection so i'm wondering if it's like the same thing just without the mint scent and i never tried the jelly pop primer for them from them either i get the sense that it's all sort of like the same thing with different like scents but i don't know okay now that my face is primed i'm gonna go back in with the brow stuff and brush my brows the way i actually want them to lay sorry if you guys can hear that dog barking there's literally every time i sit down to film there's a dog barking it's not my dog, so I really have no control over it. Which brow is your guys' good brow? Mine is my, it's this brow, so it would be my left. Wait, no. Yes, it's my left brow, but if you were looking at me, it would be my, I, I don't know why you even asked that question, because I should have known that would have fucked me up. It's like 10 o'clock, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, now I'm going to grab my concealer. I'm just using my tried and true e.l.f. Flawless brightening, and I'm going to dot a little bit on around my brows so I can carve them out. We're gonna start with the eyes today. I don't normally do that, but I'm using some more uh, flaky, like not really loose, but like they're probably gonna get a little bit messy sort of eye things today, and I don't want to to ruin the base even though it really doesn't matter because like i said it's 10 o'clock and i am not doing anything or going anywhere i'm probably gonna film this and if i'm feeling up to it i might film my favorites afterwards and after that i'm gonna take it off i'm gonna go to bed Do you guys know any other brow products that like come in good colors for like a blonde blonde brow color because I have difficulty finding ones that I feel like are cool enough and this NYX one is like perfect and they don't have this color in any of their other brow products and it really kind of pisses me off see like even this brow color you probably can't tell on camera but this is espresso it's supposed to be like a dark cool brown and it looks like in comparison to this brow gel thing it looks warm like I can't I just can't find the right stuff anyway now that that's done we're gonna go on to eyes I feel like I should be looking in the camera more I'm really sorry um elf no budge eyeshadow stick in magnetic pull it's uh it's kind of the moment you guys i'm into it so for this i'm just gonna put it all over both of my eyelids quick see and i almost was like well maybe i should leave one eye open for like to do my tiktok side on but you know what i don't tell me if you guys watch shorts or reels or tiktoks like how do you prefer people to actually do it do you prefer like oh i'm gonna do this and then or do you prefer like people like because to me, the fun part of like TikTok or, you know, that sort of content is you put music to it and then you like match it up to the music. And I'm not sure that I can do that without planning everything out way in advance, you know? Maybe I can, I don't know. But I would have to stop talking while I'm doing my makeup, I think, to make it work. I don't know do people actually film those on their phones or do they film them on their cameras and then like just crop the video I don't know now that that is all over my lid I'm going to blend it One of my lovely brushes here I 
here's where I think I'm gonna stray from where I did it before because I think this might be easier I'm gonna go in with the ritual defeat um, eye soot and this is in the shade obsidian it's just like a uh, satiny black color and I'm gonna pick some of that up on my brush and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner and blend it into the crease a little bit too Okay, now what I'm going to do is, this there's going to be a lot of ritual defeat in this video, but I'm going to go in with the black orb eyeliner and do sort of a wing. Um, I'm going to try very hard to stay in frame for this, but it's slightly difficult for me so I'm gonna bring my mirror up really close to my face here and also apologies in advance because you guys are gonna get really sick of this wing shape I know I haven't posted anything but I have been filming for a three looks video with the Davina Eternal Night and I feel like I probably should have switched up the liner situation a little bit I've only done two looks so far but it's like mm, maybe you could have done something different you know so I'm taking the wing like up into my crease. It's not going to be like a full wing. I just kind of want to make that shape. You know, I didn't love this liner when I first got it. I don't know if it's just aged well or if it's just my preferences have changed, but I'm into it. And then I am just going to go along my top um, lashes too, just because I'm going to throw lashes on this look, so I want there to be a little bit of a safety net, so I'm not great at lashes. Again, I don't know if you can hear that dog, but I can, and it is annoying. So that is the wing. Uh, I'm going to try and do the same on the other side, and I will either speed that up or cut it out. See, this is difficult with this mirror. I'll probably cut this one out so I can lean forward instead of holding the mirror up under me. Um, now I'm going to go in with uh, a pencil just to do like my waterline and tight line and stuff, just because I think that's easier with a pencil than with a brush and like a potted eyeliner. So. I'm gonna do that quick. I won't show you because I know it grosses people out, grosses me out to edit it. So I've got it in my waterline. I'm gonna go back in with the obsidian shade and I'm gonna go over my liner with that um, just to give it a more shiny satin look. Again, I don't know if you really need to see this part, but I will keep it in. Okay, so my camera cut off there. I just finished setting my liner with this black shadow. And now I'm gonna go back into that blending brush we used and just add a little bit more of the black and blend it over. Again, I just want the outer part to be really dark in this look. Now I also think I'm going to go back in with the shadow stick um, just to add a little bit more color and blending up above 
the black because it got a little bit heavy. So I'm just going to find like a small, well actually an angle brush would probably be good. I'm going to go like directly onto the brush. I've never tried this before so I hope it works. But... Now we're gonna do the real fun part. This is the Ritual Defeat Crystalline Matter Eye Soot in Cerium. This is a limited edition color. Um, and I think the formulas, when they come out with this formula, it's pretty much always limited edition colors. But um, I finally figured out how to use them. So I feel like I have to show you guys in case any of you have any of these. Um, so what I like to do first is I need like a, not like a blending brush, fluffy brush, but kind of like a less, like a shader brush, but not like super flat. I'm gonna use this one. Oh, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Hopefully something like this. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter primer on my finger, just the teeniest, tiniest bit barely a dot of it and I'm not gonna go right onto the lids with it I'm gonna put it on my brush so I'm gonna take the brush onto my finger and kind of swipe it into the brush and work it into the brush and then I'm going to swipe it across my lid just to get a little bit of a tacky base but you don't want too tacky. I find with these shadows that if you go in like full glitter glue and like full like flat brush onto the eye they get kind of scaly looking. I don't know how else to describe that but you know when you used a really textured shadow and it just looks like sort of scaly and crackly on your lids. I'm not a big fan of that. Some people probably are. Um, so this is gonna make it look kind of more like a sheer glittery finish. So once I feel like I've worked that onto the lid pretty good, I go into the shadow with the same brush and I just kind of scoop up some. So it's just going to look like some flaky little pieces. I'll get close. Yeah, it's just going to look like some flaky little pieces, which is fine. And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to Press them in and drag them across the lid. And I'm gonna go in again and just build that up until I'm happy with how it looks. So that's basically the eye look. I'm just gonna go in and touch up any of the liner where I feel like it needs to be re-darkened and redefined. Um, maybe do a little bit more of the black blended into the glitters here. And then we'll do brow highlight and move on to the rest of the face. Actually, we'll just do the rest of the face and then add highlight when we get there because it's gonna be the same highlighter. Only reason I'm doing concealer first is because I wanna make sure I get a straight, clean edge around the eye look.
And for my face, I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me Skin Tint. Just discontinue. Oh, I'm gonna apparently get some on my shirt first, which is lovely. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go back in with my concealer anywhere where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. So next I'll do contour. I can find it in here. Okay, and this is also from Ritual Defeat. This is their Inner Glow Cream Pigment, Pigment, Cream Pigment in Intuition. And I just take this on a brush. I've used a ton of this, by the way. I can't see my monitor right now, so I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. But so I like to just take it right in here where my cheeks. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's a little bit of a dip in my cheeks right there so I just take it right in that spot on both sides and then I contour my jaw and if I have any extra on my brush I just kind of take it on the sides of the tip of my nose bring it underneath too a little bit just very lightly and then under my lip here and across the top a little bit too cannot do lip contour with powder it just does not work for me so I don't always do that just I'm doing it now because I'm here so why not you know so I just like to put a shadow underneath and then blend up that stuff I put on the sides just a little bit just mostly for the sake of blending it better. And then I will take a brush like this to like blend out these big like strokes I put on my face. So I just take it and swoop it up like this to kind of carve out my cheek like that. And then same under the jaw, I just kind of drag it down and along the jaw. Calling it a day with the contour. Um, I'm gonna go in with another one of those Intergold Cream Pigments. This one is in Desire. Um, and I'm gonna use this for my blush. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do bronzer today. Fuck bronzer. I don't, I don't like bronzer anyway, so I'm just gonna go in with the blush and I like to use this on my finger so I just get a decent amount on my finger and then I just tap it in where I want it Now that that's all laid down, I'm just gonna go over with my sponge, make sure everything's got a really nice blend, especially on the nose contour. I feel good about that. I'm going to powder a little bit, uh, just because 
I feel like I need to. Okay. That worked pretty decently. I am going to, I can't believe my camera battery is not dead. Um, I have powder all over me now, which story of my life. Uh, now what I'm gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna spritz myself now that I powdered myself up. Um, and I'm going to try and get some of this foundation off my lips. And then I'm actually gonna go in with a smoky liner brush and just kind of um, go back along the bottom part of this liner and just make sure it's kind of like nicer looking. You know what I mean? Okay, so it got a little bit messy on the inner corner over here just because of the way my eye shape is, um, but that's fine. I just wanted to smoke out the bottom a little bit more so it looked a little bit more intentional and not so um, jagged. The wings are definitely not even. Um, now, more ritual defeat. Um, I'm gonna try. This is the Rare Light Cream Luminizer in Spectre. Um, and I'm gonna try this as like a base for my other highlighter today. And I'm just gonna use this with my finger too and see how that works. I have not used this yet on my face. I've just swatched it. So we'll see how it goes. Camera cut off again, which means I've been here for way too long. Try and not highlight that zit just because that doesn't seem like the move. Put it in the nose. A little tiny bit on the tip. Keep its bow. And just tap a little bit on the brow bone. Um, now, on top of that, because we're being extra today, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild um, Loose Highlighting Powder in Written in the Stars. This is ancient, um, but I will probably never run out of it. And I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy eyeshadow brush for my brow bone. And I'm just gonna sweep it all across here. And Cat is upset. Doug, what's wrong? Why are you angry? Why? When I don't go to bed at bedtime, he gets a little bit upset. Um, why not use this on your face too? Why dirty another brush, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna do my lips and my um, lashes and I'll be back. I'm gonna use uh, my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Moonwalk, the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Lipstick in 666. And I might try and see if I can do like a little bit of this in like the center of my lip. This is from Ritual Defeat and it is the Black Locust Enchanted Lip Shear. So I don't know if that's gonna work, but that's what I'm gonna attempt. Oh, and I'm gonna use the Casper Lashes from Likely Makeup for my lashes. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, hopefully this video wasn't too boring. I feel like it probably was because I didn't really have anything to rant about really. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.